sleepyhead. Good morning, Jack. Are you all right, Jack? I have never known you to sleep till so late. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Sorry for being late. Yes, sugar. I had a very strange dream. You all were there in it. Oh, really? Tell us. Well, we all were there, and there was a wolf, a mother sheep, and her seven lambs. And nobody could hear or see us. What were we doing there? We all were looking into the mother sheep's house from the garden window. <laughs> Children, I am going to market to get food for you. I will get some treats also for you. Yay! We can't wait for the treats, Mother. Come soon. Yes, I will. But you all have to be very careful. The wolf has wanted to eat you all up since you were born. So promise me that you won't open the door for anyone except me. Yes, Mother. We will be very careful. We won't open the door for anyone but you. Very good. I am proud of you, my children. Bye for now. I will see you soon. Intelligent. Maybe I should try something else. Oh, children! It's me! Open the door! It must be Mother! She is back with the trees! Let's open the door! Wait! Let us still be careful and check! are intelligent. Maybe I should try something else. I want you to cover my feet with flour. <laughs> yes, yes. Hmm? 
jumping around. I think I will take a short nap. to the stream to drink water. Jack? 
I agree, but I am glad to be back in reality, where everyone can hear and see us too. <laughs> for her grandmother again. Today, I will eat her for sure. I will go to her grandmother's house and pretend to be her. Then, I will wait for Little Red Riding Hood to come. Once she does, I will eat her. No, that's terrible. We should go warn her. Great idea, Joe. Let's go, guys. Yes, let's go. We are not too late. It's been a few minutes since I saw her go to the stone path. Don't worry. She normally buys fresh bread from the baker before going to her grandma's. We'll check there first. Bread? Oh, do you mean Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. Have you seen her today? Yes. She came in a little while ago. She was very happy today. She said she will pick some flowers from the garden on the way to her grandma's. Thank you, sir. I think we should head straight to the house. Yes, let's go there and wait for her to come. Look there! Someone's entering Grandma's house! It's the wolf! What's he doing in there? Let's hurry! We are still very far! Little Red Riding Hood! She's also going into the house! We're late! Let's get there and see!
Come in, my dear. I was waiting for you. Wow, Grandma. Your voice sounds so cold. I just have a little cold, dear. Grandma, I never noticed, but what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, dear. Come closer to me now. But Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, dear. And what about the nose? What a big nose you have. All the better to smell you with, my dear. But what big teeth you have, Grandma? All the better to eat you with. Just like I ate your grandmother before you came in. cutting the trees. I heard you scream, so I rushed here. Come, I will take you home. So the wolf ate her grandma and dressed like her to fool Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, she was lucky that the woodcutter was here. Let's g g go home, guys. The wolf really scared me. I agree. Let's just go. What I found, guys. This book looks so different. That's right, Joe. What is it about? I can't make out from the cover. Uh, let me open it and see. Whoa! like we got sucked into the book. The book? Where is it? It fell from my hand when we landed here. Oh, I think we should look for it quickly. Let's ask around. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for a particular book. Would it have got mixed with yours? I don't think so. But do have a look. It's not here. Thank you. Okay, sons. Now it's time for you to go and make your own house. Your mother and I will come and stay with each one of you when your houses are ready. Good luck, my children. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Papa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Hi, I'm 
going to make my house so quickly that Mama and Papa will be able to come and stay with me first. And they will like it so much that they won't leave at all. That's not possible. I will make a house even faster than you. We will see. But for now, this is my spot. I will make my house here. You go ahead, brothers. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, brother. It is very nice, brother. Thank you. Is your house ready? I need two more days to complete it. How about yours? I will need a week more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you need a week more? I am making my house with brick and stones, brothers. And I think you too should do that. <laughs> Little brother, you have gone mad. Why do we need a house of brick and stone? Look at us. Elder brother has made it of hay, and I have made it of sticks. That is good enough. Anyway, I will come to both your houses when they are ready. Little pigs have left Papa Pig's house and made their own houses. Who will protect them there? Now I can go eat them. Come out, come out, little pig, or I will huff and puff and blow your house down. Hmm. Looks like he escaped. Well, I know where his brothers live. I am sure he has gone there. Come out, come out, little pigs, or I will huff and puff and blow your house down. Hmm. Looks like they escaped. I am sure they have gone to the third brother's house. Come out! Come out, little pigs! Or I will huff and puff and blow your house down!
children! Are you all right? We went to the hay house to stay and saw it broken. We got worried and went to the sticks house and saw it broken too. We were so worried about you. Mama, Papa, we are all right. It is little brother's hard work that has saved us today. Now we can all stay in my house together. Wow! Really, the youngest pig saved them all today. Yeah, but who will save us? How will we go back? Oh, wow! Look there, guys! It's the book! Sugar and friends. <laughs> <laughs> 